forming. Copy. Alright. So this is the C101 CC or Charlie Charlie version of the Avia jet. I'm gonna load this up with rockets and see if I can hit something with rockets. Refueling complete. I don't even have power to the bird and that uh, beacon is on steady. That's interesting. Now the avia jet is not what you would call a fast aircraft and it's especially not fast with those rocket pods. Rearming complete. Injection seat pin. I can't click on it now. Interesting. Injection sequence valve. That's in the back seat. Lag restraints. Yeah, okay. Harness rudder pedals. I can adjust them, but it really doesn't matter in the virtual world. Circuit breakers. In. They're all in. Emergency pitch trim guard. It's on. Emergency trim breaker. It's in. The throttle full range and back to stop. up. Ignition is off. Start switch is normal. GPU connect. Now oh, this is supposed to be a normal. That's the start switch. This is the abort start. Okay. This module is when you call for GPU, you get a GPU. There it is. It's pretty cool. Transfer pump switches are all off. Landing light switches is are off. Stall warning switch is on. Parking brake is set. Alarm panels here, and those are breakers. The clock is right here, but it's already set. This is the uh, stopwatch, but it's already. So I have it set to mission time, and it'll just run. Standby artificial horizon is ah, there it is. It's locked or caged. UHF VHF radio is off and and it's both of them, so that's off. Here's the UH, here's the VHF comms navigation. This is the ADF or NDB receiver. Okay, for starters, I want all of these. 
probably getting ahead of myself. Optical sight off. Altimeter to eight to air uh, elevation. I don't know because I don't have power. I'm going to turn the GPU on. But it doesn't give me power really until I put the battery on, I don't believe. Alright. DME selector is normal. Check gyro platform selector. It's here. It's normal. That I'm unsure of, to be honest. IFF off. Check. Accelerometer 1G. Check. Inverter switch off. Generator switch off. Bus tie switch off. Battery switch off. Cabin altimeter. That's this. And everything's off, so it is what it is. It should be set to the airfield elevation, which I think is 18 something, which is close. Interior light switches. I've got a kink in my neck. They're off. Position light to bright. I don't know if they, well, regardless, they need to be bright. Information we're not going to need, but let's set our instruments up. When we get power. Yep, and a collision is on. VHF, COM, and nav panel control. I've already checked that, it's off. Oxygen valve lever is open. Oxygen failure warning switch to bulb. That's in the rear cockpit. Audio control panel as required. That's what those are. They're all up. ADF control panel off. Check. Air conditioner switch. Temperature selector is auto. Flow selector. Is the cabin. Check. Manual temperature selection. The Twelve o'clock position. Emergency ventilation switch off. Check. All right. Battery switch on. Battery voltage. Check. GPU on. Essential bus transfer switch on. High switch is in st 
Standby. Oh, that's the, sorry, it's supposed to be on. Check. Burger switch to standby. That's what it's supposed to do. Good. Uh, intercom. Check open. It's open. <laughs> Seats and pedals. And they're just as just as they're gonna be. Ignition. Light. Press and check. Check. Computer switch is on. Manual on. Fuel panel. Check. Transfer transfer pump switches. Selector is in fuse launch. Boost pump switch on. Well, that's what those were, I guess. These are the transfer switches. Fuel shut off valves. Switches are open, which we already did. And then do the triple test on the stall warning. So, first, hold that. Oops. There we go. Get our stall warning. Our vibration. On, release it, and it goes off. And of course, in case you missed it, we get a warning with a caution light too. Alright, voltmeter check. Yep. Warning and caution panel test and dimming. Switch to normal. And those come back alive. We should have four reds and one yellow. Is the area clear? The area is clear. Clear the area. All right. Set the ignition to on for two seconds. 2002. Put it in idle and give it a little gas and pull it back. Watch it and wait for it to stabilize within parameters. The internal turbine is a little high right now, but it's not too high. Talking about it's 100 degrees Celsius low, so that's good. All right, okay, so it's stabilized. All right, turn the GPU off. Check. Have them unplug the GPU. Chief, turn off the ground power. Check. Copy. Ground power is now on. Generator. Reset. Back on. 
generator test. Check. Resetting back on. Okay. Navs, nav and comms equipment as required. Well. Set. Turn it on to the manual frequency and guard. We're done. So that's checked. The VOR is channel 12 or 12X for TACAN. Yep, it's TACAN because it's got the little squares on the end there. And 109. Point ten for runway two one. Okay. Actually, so we know it'll pick up the ILS. But for the VR or TACAN. 12x, 12x, 12x is Should be hearing it. Now, while we wait for that, standby artificial horizon and cage. Check IFF to standby. There it is. Pressure is green, which is right here. Check. Air brakes are in, are out. heat and probe. I don't think we need it, but our pedo heat is there and our probe heat is here. Stall warning switch we checked, it's on. Again, anti-ice that's that's that one. We already checked it. It's not on but I don't need it. I don't think engine computer is on. Lights. Let's turn this down a little bit. That can stay up, that's fine. Instruments.
closer than that, I believe. Oxygen. And air conditioning reset back on, which resets that. And the seat pin, which I can't do anything with, is right there. Taxi checklist. Remove the wheel chocks, which I think has already happened. Yep. Flight controls. Check again. Engine and flight instruments are still good. Transfer pumps. Or on auto, and the fuselage is on. Speed brakes are in, of course. Out, in. Flaps are in takeoff configuration. Landing gear lights, three greens. <coughs> Warning and caution lights are off except for the canopy. Shoulder harness. Yeah. Check the trims. Native 1.5. Set. Oops. Canopy is closed and locked. out. Anti-skid. Check on. Now, where's anti-skid? I can't remember where anti-skid is. Oh, it's right here. If it's off, then it's turned on. If it's on, then it's off. Okay. Altimeter Q and H, which I think is right. Pedo heat switch on. Um, I don't think we need it, but okay. For the engine ice, if uh, if it's snowy or rainy, you want to have that on. Seat pin, we can't remove it. It's down there. Ignition switch to continuous. That's for takeoff and landings, and also for uh, bad weather, IFF to normal. And if I knew how to set it, I would set it, but there it is. There it is. Flow selector to cabin, which is already done. All right, navigation aids are set. We're gonna turn on our radio altimeter. Give me his line, UHF antennas and automatic. We don't need that. We have control of the radios. All right, well, that's before takeoff checklist. We just did that, so let's, uh, Let's get permission to taxi here. Oh, we're Call one to one. To get Request started. Call one one. Clear for That's one I always forget for hell's sakes. Call one one. Request taxi to runway. Three right. Clear to taxi to runway three. Path two. All right, we're 
cleared to, to taxi to run three right. Break off. Taxi lights on. Let's get going. Now, the set of course on here, it's right here, but since I can't look at that gauge and turn it at the same time, it mapped to something else, and they're going to give us three right, so. Zero three zero. Oops, too far. Ooh, the taxiway slants right there. certain RPM, this engine sounds like an electric ducted fan RC jet airplane engine. So if I go for a flyby view and it sounds weird when it flies by, that's what it is. It's the engine sounds. I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that or if it's just weird that way. I don't know. Although one thing I will say about this aircraft, if you just want to practice general flying, this is a really decently done trainer aircraft, even for DCS. They put a lot of work into it and it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good that way. You're not going to have this jet and uh, 
get into all the action on online servers as much unless you can find one that has them even listed as aircraft to fly but if you do find one like the aerobatics servers or not they're they're fun to fly multiplayer as well especially since this aircraft um, has a back seat and in multiplayer your friend or you can sit in the back seat and you can pass control back and forth to each other here's the back seat most of the same controls are available back there not every single one is however on the same on the other side of the same coin there are a few things like uh, like I said in the startup procedures that are in the rear that aren't in the front you can also uh, if, if you design the mission or somebody else did you can set a setting for an IFR hood and it mounts it right up here so that the back seat has to fly IFR. Colts 1-1, one, one. request takeoff. Normally, the student pilot sits up front and the instructor sits in the back. But for IFR, I'm assuming that the student sits in the back. All right, we already did our pre takeoff checklist. So we're going to hold the brakes. We're going to run up to. Uh, About 80 ish, release the brakes and then continue on to full thrust. And in a short time, we'll use rudder instead of toe brakes. Can you hear that engine? The gauges are good and our speed's alive. Now we're just watching for rotate speed. Is coming up right now. Rotate. We're a little heavy. Oops. Come on. Okay. We're climbing. Gear up. Continue accelerating. as we go now now that we're in a stable climb I haven't decided what I want to hit yet but let's do this Attention all units. A recon unit of ours spotted an unattended enemy supply depot. They don't have any munitions with them that can disable the vehicles, so we're being called in to deal with it. Once you get close, they'll light off a green smoke marker at the location of the depot. Check the text below for the enemy position. Now we've got about five minutes we can run on full power like this for takeoffs and stuff. So we're going to walk it back a little bit for now. 
which our nose is going to drop a little bit. And we're going to turn this off a continuous crank to normal. some altitude for this one to do rocket attacks. Now we're going to set this the master arm to on. Select our rocket pods. We're only going to do one run. Bombs. That's fine. We need burst. We just wanted to shoot a couple rockets at one rocket at a time from each launcher. We leave it in rocket. But we're going to do a burst as long as we hold the trigger down. Turn our sight on. I'm going to put it in manual. And despite what the attack profiles say, as I can never really hit them properly. Why is that not on? Oh, there it is. Either I'm diving too steep or whatever, I find I do better with a 10 mil or radi radio mil or whatever it is. Depression. And now, with the exception of the uh, sound that's comical, it's time for the gratuitous flyby. Lodge. That's dual 50 caliber machine guns. And I don't have them turned on right now. That's what that switch cover is right there is for the guns. And with it down, I guess it is turned on. Okay, I just turned them off. Now I've got the rocket pods selected. I've got 220 50 caliber rounds. This middle light is the gun pod, and I just turned it off. Okay, there's our target. I'm going to pull the throttle back a little bit and establish a dive here. Now, I have not been real successful in rocket attacks with the C-101. We say to do about a 15-ish, 20-ish dive degree, which I think we're going to be back down to 20 again, which is why I set it to 10 mils instead of 
Where it says in the crow files, yes, I know caution. We're gonna hit that larger group. See if we can strafe here. It says to fire off at fifteen hundred. Okay, it did not fire, which means I messed something up. So we're gonna throttle up a little bit and climb out. What do you mean gear? Oh, it wants me to put the gear down because I thought I was landing. Put the fuse switch for bombs on nose tail. I'll see what happens. I didn't think it mattered for rockets, but apparently it might. it didn't have that electric ducted fan noise because I don't have the throttle up high enough. Now let's gain some altitude. As we come around, we can hear it kick in. It's not a very fast aircraft with those rocket pods, and of course, because I'm climbing too. Come at an angle. and rocket. Well, now I feel dumb. Master armor's on. They're armed. There's no errors. That's an error. Totally missed that. Well, I don't know 
if I have any rockets left. I think I fired them all, but let's go find out. And if I have, I'll go do a gun strafe. First did work. Now I got the gun armed. Close that and uncage the trigger. Way too long to be doing this, but well, it was a semi successful gun run. destroyed two trucks and I'm probably sure I hit a few more just didn't destroy them and I have a little more than half of my ammunition left so let's go finish it up and then go with the light home weapons employment in this aircraft takes a lot of practice which Obviously, you can see I have not done yet, although I have tried. Shot for ammunition.
she wrote. A few more uh, trucks destroyed. But not as many as I would like. Most of those that are destroyed are secondary blasts. Alright. Master arm switch off. Sight off. They're going to give us runway 2-1. Attitude and adjust our throttle for clear descent or vertical speed. Check directional gyro check mission to continuous. We don't need anti ice, no terminal working. Selectors as required. We didn't use much fuel. Oxygen check is working. Engine and flight instruments are working. Fuel heat is on. Fuel, we have plenty of fuel. Okay, before landing, which you know, we can do in a little bit, or we can do now. Hydraulic pressure still in the green. Altimeter at the same air field QNH or QNF, QFE that it was set to. And the skid is still on. We're not doing IFR approach. We're not planning on a missed approach. What's the ILS? 109.
picking up the signal, we just haven't got it to register here. Right now, instead of ADF, we just like, oh, there it is. It just turned on. So we need to be left of the line. Slow down. We don't have glide slope yet. one left. Put our final notch of flaps in. Slowly come down. 